Hi, today on the Simple Cooking Cooking Show, I'm gonna show you this great dish, Tuscan chicken, okay? So it's gonna go really fast because I already have my ingredients ready. This is a gluten-free, maybe not 100% because we're gonna do breadcrumbs, but you can just do Parmesan cheese if you want gluten-free because we are going to make it with zucchini noodles or zoodles. So let me just show you the really minimal under 10 ingredients. Can we say hooray to that? We don't want long lists of ingredients. I know we just wanna keep it simple. So what do we have here? We have some garlic, two to three cloves minced. We have our zoodles, which I showed in a previous um, episode, using the vegetable peel to peel two zucchinis. Okay, about medium zucchinis. This is about a cup and a half of nice cherry tomatoes. They're a little sweet. So instead of using the tomatoes, the whole ones, these have a little more sweetness. So I prefer those when I can get them. A little basil is gonna top the end of our dish and we cannot forget a little of those breadcrumbs that we made because you need a crunch in your dish, right? You need that complexity, you need that little saltiness right when you go into that bite. Not a lot, just a little bit on top. So I already made those breadcrumbs in this pan. I didn't even wash it because now we're just gonna put the chicken in there, our last ingredient, chicken that we are going to season so let me give you a breakdown of what's gonna happen in the next five, 10 minutes, okay? I'm going to cook the chicken quickly because they're in small pieces. I have to season it first. Then I'm gonna put them to the side. I don't need to cook them through the first time. I want them to get golden brown on the first step, okay? So I'm gonna put that in the pan, brown it, golden brown, then remove it, and then I'm going to put the tomatoes and garlic and olive oil in the same pan, put back the chicken so it can cook through, and that's gonna be it. Well, and also the zoodles, but the zoodles are going right at the last minute because they can be eaten raw and they just need like a minute to kind of soften. So that is the play-by-play -play for the recipe game here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll talk you through it as I go. First, we need to light the fire. So let's light it up. Okay, so you always start at a pretty high heat until we're up to the temp we want. Always, layers of flavor. You wanna season each component. So, so the chicken here, I have paper towels, you can see. Always dry your proteins so that they get a nice sear. So get some salt in there, get some pepper, nothing crazy, that's it. Um, we don't, you know, if you don't wanna feel like mincing garlic, you can always use garlic salt, little cheat cut. <laughs> Shortcut, <laughs> cheat cut, okay. All right, now we're gonna put our olive oil because we're Italian cooking, so we're using olive oil when possible. Unlike other cuisines, we'll just use a neutral oil for Asian cooking or something else, but we're in the Mediterranean today. So I like to use a fork. You wanna hear the sizzle. It's gonna get loud. That's what you want. So best way to do this is put it this way the season side down so then I can season the other side in the pan, okay? All right, woo, slippery one. Okay, like to hear that sizzle. That means it's gonna be golden brown. Golden browning happening, flavor, color, change of texture so we can Seal the deal. You sear it so it doesn't dry out as quickly. Now I can lower it to a medium high heat. And you can see when it starts to get that white around the edges, these are small pieces, so. Now, that one is a little premature. I turned it. 
See that? So I'll let the other ones rest there for a second. Shouldn't take more than, I don't know, three minutes or so. Because they're small pieces again. Oh, got a season. So, little salt on the other side. Okay. And a little pepper. Little pepe. Okay. In Italian, pepe. Caucho e pepe. Caucho is the cheese, pepe is the pepper. There you go. Okay, we're looking a little better, golden brown. There's always going to be hot spots in your pan, so turn, move, not you, the pan, <laughs> so that you can get even heat, even heating, even coloring. So the really good pans, heavy cast iron, are very even, but this is a nonstick kind of, you know, it's, it's a fine pan, but not the best. Okay, now we're looking. See that sear? That's what we're going after. Okay. All right. There we go. Woo -hoo. Now we're getting. We got that nice sear on there. Nice sear. Okay. Now that I'm doing it here, I need to do it under the exhaust. You see that smoke coming? Now, turning it on the second side, it doesn't need quite as long. It's going to brown it faster because the oil's already been heated up and hot. Okay. So, put that raw chicken over there. And new tool for our cooked chicken. I just like to, you got to really resist the urge to turn, poke, prod. You need to just let it do its ear, okay? And once you think it's ready like that, then you can take it out. So I'm just looking for golden brown, remember? It's going to keep cooking and we're going to cook it later in the sauce. Okay, so let's see what we're ready here. Yeah, they're nice and golden brown. Put that in the plate. Golden brown. See, that didn't take very long, the second second side. We got nice golden brown. Okay, look at that golden. That golden brown is color for plate and flavor. So it doesn't only look good, it also is a caramelization of the protein. Whew, it's hot. Okay, now turn this off. Okay, take that off the heat for a second. I want it to just cool down for a second, a second there. So I'll just put it here. And in the next stage, I'll give you a little preview. We are gonna do the garlic and the olive oil. So garlic can burn very easily. That's why I'm letting that pan just cool off a little bit. Then we're gonna add a touch more olive oil and we are going to add our cherry tomatoes. And it's only gonna be a few minutes that they, they're gonna start to burst and that's gonna create the sauce, okay? So sometimes if I have extra time, I'll cut half of them in half and leave others whole so I have a different texture so some of them are gonna like be plump and burst in your mouth. Others will be broken down, making more of the sauce. Okay, so let me get that pan back. And I'm not even turning on the heat yet because I'm that afraid about the garlic. <laughs> garlic is a sensitive one. Little more olive oil. Olive oil and tomatoes really have to go together. The acid from the tomato and the garlic or the um, the oil fat and the acid, they just make the great flavor combination. So put that garlic in there. That's about three cloves. You could do two. This is kind of a lot, but it's going to keep it. And see, I don't even have the heat on. Look at that. Nothing. And it's already frying. 
Wow, it smells incredible. And see also what they call the fond. So that chicken browned, guess where all that flavor also went? To the pan. So we're gonna scrape those bits with a wooden spoon. Wooden spoon is better in this time because I don't want to ruin the nonstick pan. Still, no heat. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it on and we're just gonna wait to get to that golden brown stage of garlic. Whew. Okay, now we got it. Medium low. Oh man, I wish you could smell it. And then we're gonna scrape. Scrape that beautiful fawn so it's gonna combine with the garlic and it's gonna combine with the tomatoes when they go in there. Okay, you can also put a little salt at this stage to just flavor the garlic and it kind of releases the juices from the garlic so it breaks down even more. Okay, remember there's always hot spots so I like to turn my pan as I go along. Little chef tip there. Okay. But that's very important, layers of flavor. So you need to salt at each stage. You know, I salted the salt and pepper, the chicken, and then I've now put a little salt in the garlic. So I don't need to add so much salt at the end. It should be perfectly seasoned. Now, stand back. Nice. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna cook this until those break down a little bit. See all those garlic bits in there. And a low heat. I'll even smash some of them to get them started. Okay. So just, just a few, you can, you know, like I said, cut them in half. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add our chicken because those are going to just, I just want to briefly cook the tomatoes. See all that juice in there? We want that also inside. All right. So I wanted that juice also to just kind of make the sauce for us. Okay. Woohoo! Looking great, guys. Okay. So now what I'm looking for is basically the tomatoes should start to break down a little more. And um, the chicken is pretty much, it's almost cooked through, but I just want it to sit in there to really cook through, no, no doubt about it. And once the chicken, I'm sure, is cooked, then we're going to put these noodles in last minute, okay? So you can even put a lid on at this point. That would maybe help it. Let's see if I have a lid so I can show you that technique. Not going to be the perfect size, but we'll just lit it for a couple seconds or so. And oh, I can hear them pop now. Just want to review this was panko breadcrumbs with a little cheese, olive oil, butter, little salt and pepper. And I did them well before so they can cool down because they have to cool to get crunchy. Now I've set this aside on a foil tray. And so right at the end, when we're plating everything, making it look pretty for us, I'm gonna put a little bit on top and it's gonna be that first bite you get a crunch and it's gonna be the best, it's gonna be great. So let's take a look. Okay, let's lower it a little bit. All right. Some of the tomatoes have kind of burst. That's what I want to see. The garlic has gotten more, 
kind of melted down, but that is a lot of garlic. <laughs> okay. All right, just a little few more minutes. I like to put that lid on just to make sure the chicken is cooked, you know? Um, some people are, you know, a little unsure about chicken and totally normal, you know? I, even as a chef, I sometimes maybe do the chicken a little more um, just because I just want to be very sure that each piece is cooked and I always cover the chicken to make sure it gets an internal temperature. So I don't temp it anymore, but it should be 165 inside. You can also pierce uh, it open and if it runs, the juices run clear, not pink, then it's done. But um, you can also go by touch. It's very firm, so that shows me that it's done. I'm gonna leave it in the pan so it's gonna keep cooking. So it, it looks like it's time to add our zucchini. So this, like I said, just needs a few, well really just one or two minutes, because I don't want them to get watery and break down too much. So you can eat these very raw too. So that's what we're literally gonna just mix them in. And I do want them heated through, so not completely raw. Just heat them through till they break down and they're gonna grab all that flavor of garlic and the salts that we put in there. These haven't, the noodles haven't been cooked or anything. I just did the little vegetable peeler. Now look at that beautiful dish coming together. Starting to look a little bit like our pasta. And you know what I might add because you need to layer flavor. Yep, a little salt because the zucchini Zucchini hasn't been seasoned at all. So you need to make sure to season the zucchini. And this looks like it's just about time to turn it off. I don't want it to break down any more than that. So it will keep cooking as we go along. Oh my goodness, this looks great looks fantastic I don't think I've ever been so excited for a gluten-free meal like this in a while okay so for plating very essential okay very essential here we're not just gonna eat it like that right we need to make it look nice <laughs> so let's see what we can do here I'm gonna grab some zucchini first Okay, it's already getting very soft. So we're gonna put some zucchini first. This is just one way to plate. You always want height, okay? You always want height in your dishes. Okay, and then we're gonna put some chicken on the side. Okay. A little piece, just a little piece of chicken there. Okay, a few cherry tomatoes. I will show you how it's looking here. Okay, we'll start with just a little, a little portion for you. Okay, so far we have this, our little piece of chicken. Okay, we need our little breadcrumbs on top. Man, I had lunch already and it's not dinner yet and this is looking too good to pass up on. Okay, a little bit of that. A little basil on top to give that fresh flair. And why not? Why not add a little saucy action? Hold your thumb over the olive oil. It takes a little practice, but you just drizzle just a touch. 
And wow, look at this, guys. That's your Tuscan chicken, almost gluten-free. <laughs> we can also slice up the chicken. That would be a nice one too. But look at the zucchini ribbons that are just kind of giving you this optical illusion kind of thing. I hope you enjoy this, guys. I'm gonna take a picture, post it on the website so you can try it out, the whole recipe, and more lessons like this so you can feel confident freestyling in the kitchen. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay well, keep cooking, and hang in there, guys. All right, see ya.